I want to introduce you to Drobo, the world's first storage robot. As far as your computer is concerned, it's just a big external USB drive. Plug it into your PC or Mac and it's up and running in minutes. But when you take the front cover off, you see it's a four drive system. I've started with two drives here, but you can have three, four, no matter how many drives you have, your computer still sees it as one big external USB drive. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move some movies from my computer across to Drobo. You'll notice that we have a little blue set of LEDs here at the bottom. It's just a capacity meter. So as I add more storage onto Drobo, you get more blue lights. I'm going to open up my movies and I want to play one of them. And the reason I do that is I want to play this movie in a loop throughout the entire demo. And what that's going to show is that as I fail drives, replace drives, add drives, at no point do you lose access to your data. That's important. If you're uh, connected to your media center, you don't want to stop recording because you failed a drive. Or if you're editing video just to get new capacity, you don't want to take your system offline. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move some music across. And what you're going to see is that Drobo is actually fully manageable just by looking at the front of the system. The blue LEDs give you the capacity indicator, and these green and yellow status lights here next to the drives are really like a traffic signal. Green is good, yellow is sort of a warning, and red is bad. So right now we've got a yellow light, and that's because Drobo's 85% full. I moved my music across, I started to get full, and Drobo actually knows when it's starting to get full and gives you a warning. So it's really just a feed me light. It's, it's buy another drive, simply just insert it into the slot, and Drobo is going to do the rest of the work for you. You don't have to do any configuration or management. Drobo is just going to recognize that I've added a new drive. It's going to add that drive to the system. And it's going to immediately make that capacity available to you. So you don't have to worry about migrating data or moving data from one system to another. Or any, any sort of configuration or management. Drobo does all that for you. At the same time, it's giving me, immediately giving me three green lights and immediate access to all that new capacity. And, and at no point did we lose access to the movie. So... I'm going to fail one of the drives. So as soon as I lost that drive, Drobo went into action. Drobo realized I lost a drive and immediately started taking the data on the remaining disks and putting it into a safe state. So that way, proactively, without you having to do any configuration or management, Drobo is going to put itself back into a safe state. And because it only has to move the data that's on the disk rather than try to repair the whole disk, no matter how much data is on it, it's going to actually be able to do it in a pretty quick manner. So as soon as it's back into a healthy state, we're going to get a yellow light because it used up the remaining capacity and put itself into the yellow mode. And it's going to give me two green lights on the remaining disk. What that means is I actually can lose another drive and I'm still not going to lose access to my data. You'll see that the movie's still running. We've put a red light on here and Drobo's telling me, hey, you're down to one disk. You lose that disk, you're going to lose your data. And it wants me to put a disk back in as quickly as possible. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to replace one of the failed drives by putting in a new one. I put it into the wrong slot. Drobo doesn't care. It's just going to immediately recognize that I've put a disk into the system. It doesn't matter which slot. And it's going to immediately start putting my data back into a safe state on the two disks that are now in the system. Now, I want to replace both bad disks. Do I want to wait for these two to finish repairing themselves and to put the new one in? I don't. So I'm just going to do what anybody would want to do, which is pretty much replace both drives at the same time. Drobo, of course, started to immediately repair itself as soon as it recognized it had a second disk. But now that it realized it has three disks, it's going to do exactly what you'd expect. It's going to repair around across all three disks. Now, the other good news about this is it's going to be able to repair itself quickly because, again, all it has to do is move the data. It's not repairing all the empty space on those disks that's lost like any other system would do. All it's going to do is take the, the music and the movies that I've moved onto it and put them into a safe spot. Now, while this is repairing itself, I want to talk a little bit about the disks I'm using. So the two disks I started with weren't quite the same size, but they were pretty small. Then I added a little bit of a larger disk. What Drobo lets me do is continually to use larger disks as I, as I need more capacity, and it lets me take full advantage of those disks. Other systems today, if you have a 100 gig drive, you just keep using 100 gig drives because any other bigger drives just wasted space. Drobo, on the other hand, lets me take advantage of the value drives I can buy today so that if I move more data across and start filling it up, I don't have to worry about, do I find that old drive that I've already started with? I can just go out and go to my favorite e-tailer. I can stop at the computer store on the way home and look for the best deal, see if there's any rebates or coupons. And when I need to add some more capacity to Drobo, 
I just do that. I, I buy the value drive, and I don't worry about trying to find an old legacy drive that I might not even be able to find or that I'm going to pay way too much money for because it's more expensive than a much bigger drive that I could buy on the same shelf at the same store. So as I add more data to Drobo, you see that the blue lights start to fill in. And of course, as I hit that 85% threshold, Drobo realizes it's starting to get full and gives you a warning. And literally, you know, a day or two later, I get this in the mail after buying it online. I open up the door, put the drive in. I don't have to worry about any configuration or management. I just put the drive into the slot that Drobo told me to. It immediately recognizes the bad added drive, adds it to the system, and that capacity is immediately available. So I'm going to move a little bit more data across now. So any other system today, if you have four drives and you're full, you're done. You're going to buy another system. You're going to go out and shop for your next array. Then you have to make a decision. Do I buy a really big array and migrate all my old data across to it? Hope my tools work. Hope I didn't. Hope, hope I don't hit an open file. Or do I buy two? You know, another system, and now I manage two systems. Does my application let me even manage two systems? Do I? Can I keep you know files across both? You know, if I'm hooked to a media center, do I have all my movies on one, and then I have a new array? What? How do I manage that? Drobo solves that problem for you. What it does is. Because we can use different size drives, all you have to do is get rid of a small drive and put in a bigger drive. So literally, as soon as we start to get full, Drobo puts a yellow light on the smallest drive in the array. It's also most likely the oldest drive in the array. It's also likely the drive that's most likely to fail. And literally, I just eject the smaller drive, buy a drive that's three times bigger, and immediately insert that drive into Drobo. And I don't have to do any, again, no configuration or management. Drobo does all that for me. Um, it's just going to recognize that I've added this bigger drive and replaced the small drive. It's going to accept it into the system, and it's going to give me that new capacity. So Drobo is pretty much does all the management for me. All I have to do is look for the traffic signs, tell you know, follow those, and Drobo will take care of the rest for me. And that's the world's first storage robot.